Hi everyone, my name is Deborah and this is the edit by DH. I am so excited. I know I say this in every video. I genuinely am excited in every video, but today I'm more so excited because I finally got my hands on the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar for 2021. As per usual, it's so popular, it's sold out, but the difference this year is that there is going to be an exciting second drop in early November. So right now, you can go onto the Cult Beauty website to sign up to be alerted for the early drop in November. So the live link will be down below. If you do decide to purchase it after watching my video, I would appreciate if you could do it so through my link, it would be an affiliate link. And all it means is that you won't be charged anything additional and I would just earn a small commission. By the way, guys, I hope I don't sound repetitive when I say or talk about my affiliate links. It's just a rule. If you do use affiliate links to make it clear and I always want to be transparent with you guys, always want to be honest. And that's why I mention it in every video. Now let's get on to the fun part. It is genuinely difficult for me to pick up because it's so heavy i'm trying not to swear it's the heaviest calendar advent calendar i have held ever i just wanted to show you the packaging it's super gorgeous and it's got sort of like a face design as you can see but very abstract design and then when you open it up it reveals the individual i don't know what you call them pockets but i'll get onto that in just a moment i'm gonna put it down for a sec oh so the Cult Beauty calendar also comes with this brochure, which is so helpful. It's the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar 2021 brochure. And inside it gives you information on all the individual products, which I will go through in just a moment. Also, it says congratulations are in order. Not only are you now the worthy owner of the most coveted beauty advent calendar, which is true, but by indulging yourself or by being indulged, lucky you, you are doing your bit to support other people and the planet. We're donating £40,000 from the sales of the Advent Calendar to the Beauty Backed Trust, an organisation which formed in response to the COVID-19 pandemic with a goal of supporting beauty professionals through grants, mentorships and masterclasses that help to elevate and evolve the industry post-pandemic and beyond. This is so important. Plus, we're also working with Climate Partner, to plant one tree for every advent calendar sold, supporting woodland carbon code certified projects and establishing forests across rough pasture and degraded areas of the UK. So by purchasing this one advent calendar, that contributes to a planting of one tree. I love that. So overflowing with cult beauty icons, we urge you to try and resist an immediate ransack. Instead, take your time, find the must have behind every door, not to mention the exclusive release behind door 25. True to tradition, one and only one calendar harbours a golden ticket worth 1,000 cult beauty pounds. The lucky winner is in for the spree of a lifetime, no peaking. So not only do you feel good because you are, like it says, indulging in all these beauty products, but also because you know that it's supporting a worthy, two worthy organisations and charities. So it's really, really fantastic. So just to give you the details, it's £215 for this advent calendar. However, if you add up everything that's included inside the advent calendar, it's worth £975. So that is why it's the most coveted advent calendar on the market. And whereas a lot of advent calendars like Space NK, Netta Porter, Liberty calendar and 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 so on and so forth are very 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 skincare heavy the cult beauty calendar although it does have skincare has more makeup in it and that's the bit that excited me for obvious reasons moving nicely on to the next point I have obviously a bit of makeup on but I deliberately didn't put too much on because I wanted to kind of go through it and if there's anything that I can apply I will apply it on camera so I've just to explain I've got a little bit of base on some a little bit of contour a tiny bit of blush just in case there's a blush inside I've got brows no eyes other than a tad bit of liner and then a gloss so it's pretty basic and bare so i'm really excited to just go through this and then hopefully by the end of it i will look way more presentable so let's start from the beginning so picking this up again whew, definitely going to get your workout for your arms first off what i like about it is that it's obviously not only numbered but it has little holes in there i don't know what the 
technical word is, maybe you can help me by commenting down below. But with the Space NK calendar, it didn't have anywhere where you could like fit or slot your finger in. So it was really hard to pull the boxes out. So this is incredibly convenient and that makes absolute sense. So let me just lay it down because I can't hold it and open it. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to take out pocket number one. And inside is a mist by Jordan Samuel Skin. I've never heard of this brand. Let me know down below if you have heard it, used it, especially if you've used this product, Hydrate the Mist. Just to quickly show you as well, when you look inside the box, there's, there's just some pink wrapping shreds, paper. So I'm going to read the brochure for each product. So this is a full size product and it's a moisturizing spray to quench dehydrated skin and reveal a dewy finish. That's fantastic. I do have a lot of face mist. However, I do have a weakness to face mist. I have a weakness to a lot of things, let's be real. But I'm torn between whether I should use it or put it in like a future giveaway slash thank you gift. I'm probably going to do the latter. It says it can be used morning and night. Mist throughout after cleansing can be used even over makeup to hydrate and give you the Jordan Samuel Glow. Having looked at the ingredients list, I can see key ingredients like glycerin, it's got different extracts and hyaluronic acid. So box number two reveals the Brigio, I don't know how you say it, travel size. I mean, that's pretty big for a travel size, right? So the length of my head. So it's a scalp revival charcoal coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo so it says quell irritation and shift product build up with this purifying shampoo this is amazing and i honestly i've heard so many good things about this brand i just know being realistic i'm not going to use it because often i'm a i'm a creature of habit and there are some hair products that i just love and stick to that work for me so i will give this away and put it in my next giveaway slash thank you gift to somebody Next up is number three, which is a smaller drawer. Victoria Beckham. You know I love Victoria Beckham and I love the fact that they've included it in here. It's the colour Pout. So I already have Pout in my collection. So that's what it looks like. That typical Victoria Beckham horn design. And then that. Let me just double check. I'm sure it's Pout that I've got. So I do have Pout. And because I already have Pout... I will just swatch and try on my one and then what I'll do is to give this away to somebody because honestly it's such a lovely lipstick and I want you guys to someone to have an experience of this to be honest most likely it'll go in a thank you gift just to explain quickly my thank you gifts are basically gifts where I give gifts from time to time to loyal followers and subscribers who you know just support me whether comments liking encouraging me in my comment section in helping with my engagement and they do this without obviously you guys do this without wanting anything back but i am so grateful for it and so i started this thing with a um like a thank you gift i don't want to say initiative it's not but like a thank you gift thing and i did it last time i believe for two of my followers and I will continue it because I actually prefer doing it to giveaways which I always feel there's a condition attached which is the whole point of a giveaway but sometimes I just want to give thank you gifts to my followers and subscribers without a condition attached and just to literally say thank you so I will probably do another thank you gift very very soon and I will announce on my Instagram channel who um the selected people are and by the way i will do it continuously I, this is one promise i'll make i'll continuously do it throughout the time that i have this sort of platform and also i'm not going to rule out gifting the same person twice i won't do it like regularly but like the same person twice because some people just genuinely like support me over a long period of time and i do feel really appreciative so just to put it out there and explain what my thank you gift thing is when I say it. So this Victoria Beckham lipstick in pout will go into my next giveaway, most likely thank you gift. But just so that you can see what it looks like, this is my own. This is the swatch of pout and it's the kind of colour that would suit everyone. And just to explain in case you don't have experience of Victoria Beckham's lipsticks is that it's very creamy, easy to wear. It's got a shiny finish and it just looks really flattering. I know a lot of people prefer creamier finishes to matte finishes. So this will be the ideal lipstick for you. 
it's so easy that I don't even need a mirror. I just use my my screen as a mirror. So that is pout. And I'm going to keep that on. Next up is box number four. So this is the Glow Recipe Travel Sized. Again, very generous for a travel size. I know so many brands that this would be a full size. Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. So take on blackheads and visible pores with this decongesting blend. I have heard so many great things about Glow Recipe. Please let me know down below if you use this or just in general would recommend any Glow Recipe like skincare products and it's not just for myself it's for other followers and subscribers to learn about as well again i'm going to put in this into my next giveaway thank you gift so just wanted to show you next up is the pharmacy travel size again very generous of travel size green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm this is gentle on dry sensitized skin this silky balm easily lifts dirt makeup and sunscreen let me just quickly open it for you wow this is so generous for <laughs> this is travel size anyway it's 50 mil wow okay it comes with the jar and then a little, I don't know what you call it, spatula is what I call it. I, you've guessed it, I'm going to put it into my giveaway. Next is number six. And it's a product called Live Tinted Hue Glow in Colour Dawn. It's a highlighter moisturiser hybrid. This rose gold elixir casts a luminous sheen. Again, it's something that I, I don't feel like I would use this. Even though it sounds absolutely gorgeous, I... It's not that I wouldn't like it, I just feel like I would end up using it one time and then wouldn't use it again. But what I'll do is I will show you a swatch now. And what I'll do is I'll add this to again to the giveaway thank you pile. Next up is box number nine. So this is the Swede Lashes Full Sized Pro Lash Lift Mascara. This lash defining mascara lifts, separates and elongates with ease. I have seen a lot of Swede lashes, um, like false lashes that you just stick on and they look incredible. I have so many mascaras, but the only reason I do want to try this out is because of the wand. The wand is really unique, I'll show you is one-sided and it's got tiny 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 little bristles so i want to try it out but just in case there's eye shadows i will apply that first and i promise you i'll go back to the sweet lashes afterwards so finally something i can keep next is box number 10 and rather specially there's more than one product in 10 we've got the super group travel size glow screen spf 30 so this glowing formula shields your skin without a greasy feel or white film I love this. I think this will be so handy and it's the perfect size for travel. I normally prefer SPF 50 because obviously you guys probably know already the fairer your skin, the higher the SPF should be. So I will give this away. I've heard so many good things about this and sunscreen. So hopefully you, whoever gets it can let me know what it's like. Then this is the Hum Nutrition. Here comes the sun. This is a full size product. These soft gels step in for the sun, delivering essential vitamin D into your system. I love that. So it says high potency vitamin D3, D3 without UV damage, pure and potent nutrients, non-GMO, gluten-free, sustainably sourced, no artificial colors or preservatives. And then it just says to take one soft gel daily with food. I love that because I actually do have a vitamin D deficiency. So this is really handy. And to be honest, if you live in the UK, I believe the majority of people have vitamin D deficiency only because we don't get enough sunlight. So if you have a vitamin D deficiency, it just means you're lacking in energy. So this helps with stuff like that and more. In fact, here it says lacking sun or worried about photo aging. Charge it up without sunburn. Here comes the sun is high in vitamin D3 that is regarded as superior to D2 and supports the skin, mood, immune system and calcium absorption. So all of those things are things I probably need. So I'm really excited to try this. Again, if anyone has ever tried Hum Nutrition, please let me know. Then it's box number 11, which is another small one. And this is Odocyte, Odocyte, Odocyte. Please let me know how it's pronounced. What full size product, Car Wild Carrot Serum Concentrate Vital Glow. So this says is a must have for city dwellers. These antioxidant rich drops protect against free radicals. It says mix two to three drops in your cream or apply alone for a more intensive solution. I mean, it sounds like it would be really 
essential for someone living in like this city so i most likely will keep it i probably should add something like this to my skincare routine by the way as i'm going through this i can see box number 25 because it's the only one that's bright orange and it's the biggest box and like 25 is just like <sighs> i'm so excited next up is box number 12 and it's the sunday riley full-sized auto correct brightening and deep puffing eye contour cream a caffeine powered cream that smooths brightens and hydrates tired eyes i will keep this only because i normally use the la mer i believe it's the eye concentrate as well i don't know if i'd necessarily want to invest in la mer again i believe it's over 200 pounds if i had dark circles and stuff like that i would invest again in la mer but I don't have those concerns. So actually this has come at a great time to try out. And I don't I don't think I've ever used a Sunday Riley product. So I'm excited to give this a go and keep it in my fridge and it will just replace the La Mer. So perfect timing. Box number 13 is the Summer Fridays full-sized Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. A cocktail of ceramides and hyaluronic acid that floods skin with lightweight lasting hydration. I mean, it sounds absolutely fantastic, but it's definitely not for my skin. The fact that it's a gel cream, the fact that it says oil-free, it's not for me. So if you've got dry skin, specifically very dry, dry skin, anything that says oil-free, stay away from, because especially if you have texture and anything like that, it's the lacking of oil in your skin that makes your skin dry. So therefore, you do not want to go for any skincare, any makeup that says oil-free. That's a big no-no. Anything that says gel cream as well, even if it doesn't say oil-free, I would stay away from because gel creams are quite light. And when you have drier skin, dehydrated skin, skin that's really like prone to fine lines and wrinkles, you want to go for thicker, richer creams and balms as opposed to lighter gel creams. So that's just an FYI. Um, so it sounds fantastic, but not for my skin type and therefore it will go into the giveaway thank you gift pile. Next up is box number 14 and it's the Oskia full-sized isotonic hydra serum. It says the serum boosts, protects and balances moisture levels for long-term comfort and a dewy finish. All those things speak to me. I'm going to keep this and use this. Box number 15, another Brigio. Um, travel size again I can't believe how big the travel size is this is 59 mils so travel size don't despair repair deep conditioning mask a dream come true for dry damaged hair this mask restores essential hydration and natural vibrancy again I'm just going to include it in the giveaway might as well and it can go hand in hand with the other um, exfoliating shampoo that I'm putting in there as well Next up is the Ordinary Full-Sized Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This serum targets breakouts and decongests complexions by regulating sebum production, meaning it's really helpful for more kind of oilier, acne-prone skin. I know niacinamide is a very good skincare ingredient in general, whether you're dry or on the oilier side. And in fact, I will give this to my other half because he's got the complete opposite skin type to me in that he's very very oily and prone to breakout so this is, will be perfect for him next up is box 17 and it's the molten brown travel size again a very generous travel size jasmine and sun rose bath and shower gel this shower staple boasts a fragrant aroma and a skin softening lather I would definitely keep this because, again, I just tend to use it when I go traveling. It stops me having to decant into things. If I end up liking the product, I always keep the travel size bottle. I'll buy the bigger pack or whatever, and then I'll just decant it into here. So I love this as well. How gorgeous is this bottle? I do like Morton Brown products, so I'll keep this. Guys, number 18 has to be my favorite. It's the widest draw so far. And look how many products are in one freaking, excuse my French, how many products are in one freaking drawer? I am blown away. Gosh, I don't know where to start. You've got the Vive. I don't know if that's how you say it. And I think this is Jamie Genevieve's brand. So Vive Full Size Lip Dew, this non-sticky lip gloss, casts a gorgeously glossy sheen. I have seen Vive makeup going around and people t tend to seem to like it so I haven't tried it yet so it's a lip oil here and you can see it's got slight like golden particles reflective particles 
I quite like it, so I think I will keep it and swatch it for you. Look at that doe foot applicator. How mahusive is that? The gold is quite subtle, but you can see when I sort of like turn my hand, it reflects. And you can definitely see that sort of gold sparkle tone. There is a slight scent to it. It almost smells a bit like caramel. It's okay. I mean, normally I'm not a fan of caramel or vanilla scents. I mean, it doesn't say what it is. It just says aroma flavor. It's quite low down in the ingredients list, but it's quite a strong scent considering it's quite low down in the ingredients list. Anyway, so this is that. I will try it out, see how it goes. We've got the NARS Laguna Bronzing Powder, which is an absolute cult classic. When I used to work for NARS, this sold so well because it, it literally suits everybody. It's like a golden colour, but not too like orangey. There. And I'll use the classic NARS Yachio Kabuki brush. So hopefully you can see that it's warmed up my complexion. It just gives you this really natural sun-kissed glow. And if you see the swatch up close, you see it's got slight tiny golden reflective particles in it. And it's not in a way where it's going to like emphasize your pores or show up on your skin in a bad way or emphasize fine lines, etc. It's just subtle and it just is enough to give this kind of golden effect to your skin. So this is obviously a travel size. It says Deluxe Travel. And it says there's a bronzing powder in Laguna. This pigmented bronzer diffuses easily for instant warmth and definition, which you guys saw as I applied it. I've heard great, great things about the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, this is the Deluxe Travel size. And I've, yeah, it's a cult classic formula which thickens, lengthens and curls lashes. I'm going to include this in the giveaway. Thank you, gift box. We're finally moving on to some eyes. I needed some eye makeup. So this I'm so excited about is the new Westman Atelier full-sized eye pod in the colour Tabac. Um, so blend this soft bronze eyeshadow for a smooth, hazy finish. These are recent releases and I think she released three of these shadows. I think they're supposed to be quite expensive. So this is the shade Tabac and I'll use it because I am obsessed with things like this and I want some eyeshadow. There we go. So that's what it looks like. It's actually more pigmented on camera than it is in real life. So what I'll do is because I believe there is another eyeshadow colour in here, I'll apply it on one eye. And if there isn't any other eyeshadow product in here, I'll just continue and reapply on the other eye. So I want to show you guys all the colours and what's in included. And as you can see, I've got natural light. Even though it's a powder, it feels like a powder, but it's kind of like a buttery powder. I would recommend just applying with your finger. The colour is so, so nice, guys. So you can see... It's almost like a slight bronzy, but more than a bronze, it's like a slight bronze coppery tone, but it's subtle enough to sort of wear every day. And it was so, you guys saw, it was so easy just to blend out with your finger and it looks really smooth and seamless. So I'll be that weirdo that sits here with one eye, reviewing the rest of the makeup, just in case there is another eyeshadow. But that is the Westman Atelier, which obviously I'll keep. Next up is the Natasha Denona full-sized microblade liquid liner in black. This precise felt tip eyeliner promises ultra creamy coverage and long lasting wear. I don't know what it means by ultra creamy because I'm not sure if I want my black liquid liner to be creamy. I, I want to hear words like matte, long wearing, budge proof. That's the kind of vocabulary I want to hear. So I will try it out for you guys. But again, I just want to finish off my eyeshadow before I apply the liner, obviously, and the mascara, not to forget. Next up is the Dr. Barbara Sturm Travel Size Glow Drops Transform Dull Skin and Restore Radiance with this Illuminating Tone Evening Serum. Again, it's going to go in the gift pile. Next up is the Fresh Travel Size. Again, very generous for a travel size, my God. Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. This smoothing scrub removes impurities and excess oil without stripping your skin. I'll try this out because I normally use the, there's like a Bobbi Brown one which has now been discontinued to exfoliate, but I have been looking for a replacement, which there's no other replacement of the Bobbi Brown one. It's quite unique. Very sad about that. Anyway, I do trust Fresh as a skincare brand, so I wanna try it out and see what it's like. 
There's the Laura Mercier Deluxe Size, meaning travel deluxe size. Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. There's Cult Classic Powder Locks in Makeup Without Creasing or Caking. Again, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love my pressed powders. I find loose powders very faffy. The only time I recommend or prefer to use a loose powder is when you want to do something called baking where you really set your makeup um, and do that kind of contoured Kardashian look. This is like a cult classic product and I know loads of people love this powder so again I would just put it in the giveaway pile. So this is the IT Cosmetics Full Size Complexion Perfection Bouquet Brush. Pair your favourite powders with this soft brush for a seamless second skin finish. I love, love, love IT Cosmetics brushes. They are some of the best synthetic brushes on the market. And I have sworn on them for a long, 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 long time if you followed me for that long. So I will just put this in the giveaway pile because I believe that this will be an excellent brush. It's dense enough. I can feel like it'll pack on the powder really well, but also diffuse it if you want a light dusting of powder as well. So I am happy to include it in my giveaway pile. That, by the way, guys, let me just remind you, was all in drawer number 18. So, so impressed with that. My God. Next up is box number 19. And this is Rowan, Rowan, full-sized 75 warm eyeshadow palette. It's a quad of foil effect shimmers in warm metallic tones. I mean, you are speaking my language. I love shimmers and I love warm tones. By the way, I believe... There is another cream eye product, which I'll probably leave for this eye. This is, comes in a velvet pouch. Then this is the palette, very reflective. And then you open it to reveal the four colours. What I like is it comes with a little information sheet, so you can't even ignore it. And it says, with our lid illumes being a first of its kind formula, interesting. Here's a few tips to get you started. The texture and finish varies per shade because of the differing amounts of pearl reflex used in each shade. Upon first use, swirl your fingertip in a circular motion on each eyeshadow shade. Don't be afraid to use firm pressure. That's good to know. This will activate our lid illumes for optimal colour payoff. For more pigment, apply directly to your eyelid using your fingertip. And for a diffused wash of colour, use our Everything Eye Brush. Be sure to use firm pressure. Push, swipe, swirl, layer and have fun. Mix and match the colours and let your creativity or simplicity shine. By the way, regardless of this brand, I like I was kind of saying earlier, if it's anything kind of like a creamy texture, it doesn't have to be a cream, but if it's like a creamy buttery powder or an actual creamy eyeshadow or a shimmery metallic kind of um, finish, I would always recommend using your finger. It A, colour payoff is better. B, application wise, it's less messier than using a brush. That's why they're saying if you use your finger, the colour payoff is greater. And if you use a brush, it's more subtle, which is obvious. So I'll just swatch it for you now. I am so glad that I read that piece of paper first because it specifically said to press down firmly, not once, not twice, a few times. And if I hadn't read that, I don't normally tend to press down hard on my eyeshadow pans because some powders and formulas are very, very delicate. And I don't want to get, you know, push my fingers straight through the pan. So when I initially applied my normal amount of pressure, it just felt gritty and there was no pigment, right? Then I was like, hmm, let me just push my finger in even harder than I ever normally would. And I could see what they meant by one of a kind formula because after that initial almost film of like a gritty texture, when your finger eventually breaks through that film, it instantly becomes super creamy and buttery to the point where I feel like these aren't powders and they are creams. But I just want to show you the pigment, guys. Hello. How incredible is this palette? I almost feel like I can't do it justice by just sort of wishy-washily applying it. I know that's not a word. Wishy-washily applying it on my eyes right now because I only have one pair of eyes. I will just do an Instagram look with this because honestly, I don't want... I just feel like I wouldn't be doing it justice by doing sort of like a one eyelid look with this. So I just wanted to show you the swatches, but it's so... So creamy and incredible. I need to find out more about this brand. If you know anything about this brand already, please let me know down below. We're in the 20s now. 
In box number 20 is the Inky List Full Size Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment Diminish Dark Spots with this Results Driven Overnight Treatment. Again, I've heard amazing things about the Inky List and I will include this in my giveaway pile. Next up is box 21 and it's the Youth to the People Travel Size. Again, very generous for travel size. Kale, Green Tea, Spinach Vitamins, Superfood Cleanser, this antioxidant rich cleanser refreshes to promote healthy clear skin again i'll include it in the giveaway but i just want to show you the, what it looks like so this is 59 mils again going in the giveaway next up is box number 22 and it's the arginist full-sized genius collagen calming relief so there's a boosting resilience with vegan collagen this comforting cream restores and smooths dry sensitive skin Apply to clear skin every night and morning as needed to help soothe and hydrate the skin. It kind of appeals to me in terms of how it's described and what it does. Then we have box 23 and it's a Charlotte Tilbury full-sized eyes to mesmerizing amber gold. This creamy golden amber shadow instantly illuminates eyes. I do really like the eyes to mesmerize. So this is what I'll apply on the other eye. It's a creamy eyeshadow, as you can see. Again, you can use your finger, you can use a brush, up, completely up to you. Again, super easy to apply. Like this is called amber gold. I would describe this more as a bronzier tone and this is more like a copper tone. This is a Westman Atelier, but very close and kind of like similar color families. I already own the Eyes to Mesmerize, but in different shades. What I will say is I really, really like the formula, but because it's so creamy, I would just exercise caution when you're applying. So when you're applying, just apply the smallest amount, blend it out, and then add a little bit more if you need it. Because I feel like the thicker you apply it, the more it creases. So by applying thin layers, it just helps with the longevity. So I've just tried to apply a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury to this side to balance it out a little bit. I'll just open up everything else before I complete the eye look and then give you my final thoughts. Next up is box number 24. And again, it's one of those sneaky little boxes that has, sneak in a good way, sneaky little boxes that has quite a few products. So I'll just go through it. So it includes the Drunk Elephant Travel Size TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum. Powered by glycolic and salicylic acid, this exfoliating serum reveals a smooth, more radiant complexion. I'll just go in the giveaway pile. By the way, I've heard great things about Drunk Elephant. Also includes a Kate Somerville Travel Size Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. Powered by lactic acid and fruit enzymes, this rapid acting treatment delivers smooth, glowing results. I will again include this in the giveaway pile. Next up is the Esper Modern Alchemy, the Grounding Crystals. These fragrant bath crystals comfort active muscles and encourage relaxation. Love that. Absolutely love that. And I actually, I'm not really a bath person. I'm more of a shower person. Comment down below and what are you? Let me know down below. I like the idea of a bath, but the second I get in there, I'm instantly like, oh, it's too hot. Oh, I'm bored. And even if I've got my iPad, I just feel like five minutes in, I'm like, okay, I want to get out now. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, um, but please let me know down below. Like, I know baths are supposed to be so, like, so good for you. Really relaxing, really, you know, uh, relieves tension and stress. Great for your body. Gets rid of toxins when you're, like, sweating. But I just, I'm not a bath girl. But even then, I am going to keep this because I, the few times I do enjoy a bath or really crave a bath, especially when it gets to this sort of colder climate, I know I'll appreciate this. Wow, guys, look at that. How gorgeous is that? And it's very fragrant, but I know that in the bath, it will really work and probably be really gorgeous. And then I feel really bougie as well. Next up is the Medicaid Deluxe Size C Terra Lux. This lightweight age-defying vitamin C serum brightens and softens skin. Again, giveaway pile. Just have too many serums. And lastly in this box is the Patchology Full Size Serve Chilled Bubbly Eye Gels. Packed with antioxidants and hyaluronic acid, these masks smooth and hydrate your under eyes. I love under eye masks. They're always, always appreciated. I always, always go through them like there's no tomorrow. So I will keep these and maybe I'll wear them whilst I'm having a bath. 
finally we're on day 25 ah uh, we're finally there it's a candle and it smells so nice and i love the quirky pink color as well it says loving so it's a full-sized bella freud loving candle in scent tuberose and sandalwood this exclusive and elegant powder pink vessel marries alluring notes of tuberose amber and sandalwood that's why it smells familiar to me. It's a tuba rose because I have a tuba rose. I think it's tuba rose Angelica Jo Malone fragrance in the intense cologne. If you've got it, you'll know what I mean. It's exactly that scent. That's what it smells of. It's gorgeous. And you guys know I love, love, love candles. So that is super appreciated. It's gone on my mantelpiece right there. Just while I find a home for it. I was just counting up the products and it didn't add up. And then as I went through the brochure, I realized there were two missing items. So I literally just went through all the boxes and you guys have already probably realized and I'm just the one that's being slow right now, but I somehow missed out two, two boxes. I don't know how that happened. I'm clearly on an advent calendar high. So just to recap, I missed out box number seven, which is the Shiseido Deluxe Size Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Cream. This cutting edge cream promotes a lifted, toned and tightened look. So again, I will include this in the giveaway pile. And I also lastly missed out box number eight, which includes the Augustinus Beda Travel Size The Face Oil, fueled by the game-changing TFC8 Complex. This featherweight oil works to trigger cell renewal. I love this brand and I love face oil, so I will definitely be keeping this one. Now, before I give you my final thoughts, I'm just going to quickly finish off my eye look by applying that liquid liner and the mascara I'll give you my thoughts on those and then give you my final thoughts overall so i've just applied the liner and the mascara the liner is like a typical liquid liner a black liner and it's got a, a quite a nice nib actually it's a lot wetter than some liquid liners i've used anyway in the past meaning if you're applying it and you accidentally sort of like open your eyes a certain way or blink in a certain way it transfers so just be careful of that but the nib is nice for creating that sort of like wing liner it doesn't say whether it's like waterproof or not so i'm just going to just keep it on see how it lasts the same with the mascara it was so nice to wear as i showed you earlier the wand is really really unique in that there's bristles only on one side so it was nice to actually like separate the lashes it was really nice for the lower lashes as well again i don't know how it will last during the day so i'll just keep this on for the day and then i'll put it in the updated comments to let you know how i got on with the longevity of both with regards to the lipstick which is the victoria beckham pout it obviously doesn't last long only because it's like quite a natural lipstick it's obviously a creamier satin finish so those formulas of lipsticks don't tend to last as long as something like a matte lipstick does and therefore you are likely to have to reapply during the day especially after if you've had a drink or eaten but it's not a big deal really that is the final look so in terms of my overall final thoughts i have a lot of thoughts actually on this both good and bad firstly i want to talk about the box and the packaging the box itself is so heavy i don't know why it's heavy i've actually taken everything out of the box and it's still heavy i am actually going to keep this box even though i'm sure it is recyclable i'm going to keep it because i quite like the look of it and i just think it'll be super useful to put things in here the Liberty Advent Calendar, um, I've used that for my Christmas baubles and it's so, so handy actually. So it's it's not going to waste basically. So I am going to keep it. In terms of the design, it's brilliant. I Like I said earlier, I love the individual drawers and it's got a little finger section for you to just pull it out and it makes it so much easier. I love the fact that it's got a box 25 for Christmas Day. To me, that makes absolute sense to have a box for christmas day and make that like the main gift in essence i love the fact that it came with this brochure that gives you information on everything included in here and also the organizations and charities it's supporting as well as a full ingredients list at the back for each product which again is so so handy the only thing i would say about this is that the products were not in order as I was going through this, because I was constantly having to flick between different pages to find information for, 
you know, that specific product, it kind of ruined the surprise for what's in the other boxes. So as I was flicking, I didn't say it to you guys earlier on because I didn't want to kind of ruin it for you. But I saw there was a candle and instantly when I saw a full size candle, I knew that would be Christmas Day's gift. So in my opinion, I would have rather it had been in chronological order. So where it's giving you the list of products, that be like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day, six, day eight, for example, and so on and so forth. And also it's just easier from a readability aspect to just go through the pages rather than having to constantly flick back and forth. So that's my opinion, but let me know what you guys think down below. In terms of the products, it was actually a lot more skincare heavier than I thought it would be. I just naturally thought there would be more makeup products. And it was really, really nice in terms of what they included. It was a real variety. They had some some stuff for the hair, some stuff for the like bath body. They had skincare and then obviously they had makeup products. But for instance, they had three eye products in there. Charlotte Tilbury Westman Atelier and then the Rowan eye palette. But it, they didn't have anything for the cheeks. And it would have been really nice if they had something for the cheeks. Obviously, they had the bronzer, but it was, you know, really small. And you don't wear bronzer as a blush, so... I would have liked something for the cheeks. The lipstick from Victoria Beckham was so nice. I think the overall shades that they chose for the lips and the eyes are just very wearable and they're just very universal. Also, I think it would have been nice to have a tool, so a beauty tool, because Cult Beauty actually sell a lot of beauty tools on their website. And obviously they have like the electronic gadgets, which might have been too expensive to include in an advent calendar, which I understand, but they have like face globes, they have the um, contouring tools. So I think a tool would have been really, really nice to include. And it's a shame, I, in my opinion, again, that they didn't include a facial beauty tool. So again, let me know what you think down below. So overall, I really loved this experience of the advent calendar. It's the kind of advent calendar, if they sort of like changed it up tad, I would most certainly get it again next year and I wouldn't hesitate to get it again. I would recommend it for sure. And I'm so glad that they have a second drop coming in early November. So please don't forget, I will add a live link down below. And when the time comes in early November, just sign up for it, by the way, just sign up for um, notifications. And once you've signed up, at some point in early November, they will send out an email and let you know uh, when it's live on their website. And by the way, when it's live, I mean, go, 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 because these sell out like there's no tomorrow, literally. My advice is around early November, it will most likely be a weekday. Set your alarm for 9 a.m. because that's when the last one went live and that's generally the time it goes live. So 9 a.m. UK time, currently BST, but soon British summertime will end. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that and hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on one. Let me know what you guys think down below. I know this video was a bit longer than usual, but I really wanted to go through it thoroughly. I wanted to apply and swatch some of the shades for you. So if you're, in case you're umming and ahhing, you know exactly what you're getting from this beauty advent calendar. Um, so let me know what you think down below and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves.